This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the Computer Science Accelerated course. I'm on the lesson The Maze, and let's see what we're doing here. One more practice of if-else block. Can you get in the it right on the first try? I guess we'll find out. So we have a workspace. Okay, so we have one block right now, and we want to use less than five. I know we want to use if-else. If we're going to use less than five, though, wow, that's a big course. So, hmm. All right, I'm going to start with my if else, I guess. Well, actually, actually, I'm going to get rid of this and just start putting blocks down to see. Okay, I definitely am going to want to move forward a bunch of times. This helps me plan out what I'm actually going to do. I'm not sure how many. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, so that was perfect, it looks like. So I have five move forward blocks. Yes, I know we have too many blocks. I'm testing stuff out. And once I move forward five, I think I'll want to take a right. Now, once I take a right, I wonder how many I'll move forward. Let's see where this gets me. Okay. My problem is, though, is... Is this... Okay, then I'll move forward. Move forward. Okay. And then I'm going to want to take a right. All right, so I know I need to move forward, and I need to take a right. And if you look, this stuff is already repeating itself. And we shouldn't repeat, we should use a loop. So, let's get rid of that, and let's put our repeat until. Any code that goes inside of this pink mouth thing will repeat until the goal. So this is going to make me hit the wall, but I'll hit reset and run, and my zombie will just keep going forward. Because we never hit, we never get to the flower, so the computer is going to try to run the code forever. All right? So this is where a if block will be helpful. Repeat until. So all of this code is going to be run until I get to a flower. Now what do I want? Well, if path ahead, okay. If the path is ahead, I can, well, move forward, right? So if path ahead, do move forward. If path ahead, nope, the computer will say. So let's pretend like there isn't a path ahead. It will do else. Only one of these will run. You're either going to move forward or you're going to, let's say, turn right. So only one of these will ever run. Okay? So if there is a path ahead, I will move forward. I'll hit the bottom of this. I'll loop back around. The computer will be asked again, hey, is the path ahead? If so, I'll move forward, skip the bottom else, and then zoop. And now again, hey, is there a path ahead? Let's say there's not. I'm right here. There's no path ahead. So the computer says false, no path. Well, I actually, when this is not true, skip over the do, I don't run move forward, and I will do the else. So as long as there's a path ahead, I move forward and I don't turn right. If there's no path ahead, I don't move forward, I only turn right. And it's just going to keep repeating till we're at the flower. Let's see what this does. And notice I'm checking path ahead, path, oh, no path ahead, so then I turned right. And it's going to keep asking and looking and looking and looking and flower! We did it. Awesome. Let's keep going. 